I don't know if these guys are comics gate because once again there's no indication in the body of the document that they are or are not comics gate but I can tell you, having looked through some of the dialogue on the page, that this particular person does not sound like an SJW. So, uh, it's a zombie book. Black Tide Rising, since I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video. It's a zombie book, and... I am so sick of zombies. I mean, come on, guys. Let the undead rest for a couple of decades, huh? But everybody loves killing zombies, so that's what we're doing. And this uh, five-page sneak peek, I mean, you take a look at the interior artwork. The interior artwork does look good. I mean, this is definitely high-end quality here. And you can tell because, you know, as they show here, we have zombies, naked zombies, no less, and that you've got these cops or soldiers or whoever shooting at the zombies, only to find out these normie idiots are holding this concert to attract the zombies so they can get bitten, that they think that the uh, cops here are baby killers because... They're killing zombies. So th th there's a whole lot of verbiage being used in the course of uh, the sneak peek that definitely gives you the indication that these guys are not SJWs. So at least there's that. But we still don't know if these guys are comic skate. They don't come out and say they're comic skate. Uh, Chuck Dixon is the writer. I think Chuck Dixon... I, I, I am reasonably sure Chuck Dixon is Comic Gate. Yeah, he co created Bane. And I think I've seen him uh, on Ethan Van Skyver's uh, feed a couple of times. So, all right, you know, that, that, there, there you go. So the guy making it is not, you know, an SJW douchebag. And he looks like he probably is Comic Gate, or at least from what I understand, he's Comic Gate. Uh, but. Again, they don't say that in the campaign. They don't say hail Comics Gate in the campaign. They don't indicate their Comics Gate in the campaign. And guys, you're on Indiegogo. The point is that SJWs are going to call you a Nazi just because you're not a communist. Okay? So just put the hail Comics Gate in your campaign. Make everyone's life a little bit easier when they want to hit the back button to back it, to support you, to give you their money. I mean, look, buy a book, 25 bucks. Cool deal. I'll give you 25 bucks. I'll buy your book. I'm not going to buy 100 bucks worth of your book, but, you know, I'll buy at least one of your books. Because, you know, the cover looks good. Painted cover looks nice. Chuck Dixon, you know, I, I mean... What I remember of Chuck Dixon, I like. And he worked on The Punisher. I really like The Punisher. I don't know about Darylis Santa Cruz as the interior artist. He worked on Batgirl. That's not a selling point. Well, I guess it really depends on which version of Batgirl he worked on and who was a person writing Batgirl at the time. Then, of course, if it is she who shall not be named, uh, I, I imagine that would run anybody screaming to comics get. So. But regardless, uh, I would still love to have these guys put the Hail Comics gate in the body of their text. I mean, just lead off with it. Let us know that you're a comics gate creator. We'll hit the button. The people who wouldn't hit the button because you're comics gate weren't going to buy any books on Indiegogo anyways. So like I said, just own it. But if you're into zombie books, I'm not, and you want to see a really cool-looking zombie story, I don't, uh, then come get this book. I mean, I'll buy the book if the guy's comics gate just because he's comics gate. And who knows, I might actually end up enjoying the book. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing, 
I feel a lot more comfortable if they just put Comics Gate in the body of the text. I don't see why that's so hard, guys. You should do that. So leave a comment in the chat if you agree that people should be putting the hashtag ComicsGate in the body of their text. Maybe we can actually get enough people to motivate these guys to start doing that. And uh, like the video. Do the thing. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for as long as Twitter will let me actually continue to post before banning me. At which point I'll move over to Parlor. So... Have a great day, guys. Bye.